What's up, everybody? It's Fresno Garamo here coming at you with my coverage, my picks, my stratagems, my theorems, my magnates, if you will, of a uh, divisional round of playoffs NFL. Um, Fresno Garamo coming at you, Mexican Tom Cruise, much taller than Tom Cruise. Also, check this out, folks, a little bit of homework for you. Google Tom Cruise. Look at his smile, okay? He has one tooth right here in the middle on the top. There's no other the two teeth over here like everybody else. He's got one tooth right here in the middle. Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. Tom Cruise in his funky mouth. Um, yeah, making my picks here this time. Looking at the divisional round, we got uh, eight teams left in the playoffs. Uh, four really good matchups. <clears throat> First matchup uh, game that starts here in about ten minutes. The Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. I think Baltimore Ravens uh, are a good team. I think they're balanced. I think Joe Flacco had a very good, strong game last week. But uh, New England, with their rest, uh, with everything that they bring to the table, I think the Patriots are going to be able to handle them, win this game. I don't think that the secondary for the Baltimore Ravens. I don't think the, the secondary for the Baltimore Ravens is going to be able to stop Gronkowski, uh, especially when you've got um, uh, other receivers running around there. So I, I just think I look for a lot of running. I uh, uh, look for the ground game, New England. I think New England's offense is, uh, is tough, and I don't think Baltimore can stop them. New England's a pick here. In tonight's game, I've got the Carolina Panthers at the Seattle Seahawks. So I deal with folks every living moment of every living day. Seahawks all the time. We got the flag out in front of our house, buying blue and green things. My wife went to the store, bought a bag of Skittles. She's drinking out of a pint glass that I had to bribe the uh, golf people uh, when we were in Washington to let her have because it's got a Seahawks logo on it. Uh, so it'd be pretty silly if I picked against the Seahawks, right? Well, I am going to pick uh, Seahawks over Carolina. I think Carolina and uh, Seattle going to be a tough defensive matchup. I think Luke Keekley is going to do very well stopping the running game of the Seattle Seahawks, stuffing Marshawn Lynch uh, as best he can, covering the tight end Wilson, which has become Wilson's favorite target. <clears throat> but uh, at the end of the day, I don't believe that Carolina has the offensive firepower to uh, really um, keep themselves in a game like that, especially on the road in Seattle. I mean, these are two teams that have played each other very tough. If you go back to the beginning of, uh, not this year, but the year before Seattle started the season at Carolina, it was like a 13-9 game. That's kind of what I anticipate here. Uh, maybe like 14-9, uh, you know, Maybe like 17 to 10, something like that. Low scoring game, defensive struggle, uh, but I will take Seattle. Uh, next, we have Dallas Cowboys at Green Bay Packers. Uh, it's a tough matchup there, very good matchup, very exciting. I think it's probably the best matchup of this round of playoffs of these four games. Uh, I talked to my buddy Paul, who's a super diehard uh, Cowboys fan, and uh, we kind of like just discussed the game at length. And uh, what we basically came down to was uh, it's going to come up to the trenches, the line of scrimmage. Um, can the Dallas Cowboys rush get to that gimpy Aaron Rodgers? Can they get at him, make him uncomfortable? He's got calf issues. Can they get him out of the pocket? Can they get him on the run? Can they force him? Because basically, Green Bay does have a running game, but it's all predicated on the pass offense. Aaron Rodgers wants to throw the ball 40 times a game. Um, if not, if Aaron Rodgers is able to sit there in the pocket, I think he could definitely pick apart that uh, Dallas defense. Dallas is, does not do a lot of blitzing, so um, it's going to be key for their front four to get to uh, the, to Aaron Rodgers. Conversely, if Dallas is able to run the ball, if they're able to get DeMarco Murray uh, running the ball, it takes a lot of the pressure off Tony Romo. I think Tony Romo will throw an interception today. I think my buddy Paul pretty much agreed with me that he will throw an interception today. Uh, Green Bay has not been very, very strong against the run all year. Um, they have been better these last uh, few weeks. They've been in the nickel defense. Um, and so when they move Clay Matthews around, they're able to stuff the run a little bit better. Uh, so... You know, you really don't want the game to come to Tony Romo's uh, shoulders. I think that the, one of the reasons the Cowboys have been so successful this year is because it hasn't had that pressure of um, carrying the game for him. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's going to be the line of scrimmage. Uh, which defensive line, which offensive line has the best day? That'll let you uh, know who's going to win this game. Uh, last game of the weekend, we've got the Denver Broncos, Indianapolis Colts. Uh, a great matchup. A lot of people are making a lot of noise because it's, you know, Peyton Manning playing his old team. You know, I, whatever. That doesn't really excite me or interest me. Uh, but this game does feature Aaron, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Andrew Luck. And Andrew Luck, to me, Andrew Luck is a special player. There are a lot of elite quarterbacks in this league, but Andrew Luck is just a special player. It's going to be one of the good ones. If his career stays on the trajectory path that it's on right now, he's really going to end up being one of the finer quarterbacks to ever play in the league. Um, Denver has not looked invincible lately. I think they've looked vulnerable. I think um, there's been a little bit of a game plan on how to attack them. Um, you know, they don't have... Their, the running game really has, uh, you know, with all the injuries, they don't have a stronger running game. So, I mean, the Colts don't have a good defense. I don't know. You know, you could see this game. You could make a lot of arguments either way. I'm going to take the Colts, though, in the upset. So in the first two games, I have the home team. I have the home Seattle Seahawks. I have the home New England Patriots. On Sunday's games, tomorrow's games, 
I've got the Visitor Cowboys over Green Bay, and I've got the Visitor Colts over Denver Broncos. Those are my picks. Thanks for watching. I was 4-0 last weekend. What's up? See ya! Shout out to the stupid fish. You know, I, I've heard from a couple different dolphin fans. Let me just tag this on here at the end for no reason. I've heard a lot of stuff from dolphin fans about, you know, stupid fish. Is that the best name you could come up with? You know, I, I don't even think enough of your team to come up with another name. You're just going to remain the stupid fish. Because, I mean, what am I going to, like, like, spend time on coming up with a better insult for you guys? Get him colors or, like, toothpaste that my kids brush their teeth with. I mean... What do you want from me? Do you Miami Vice 80s colors? Sammy Crockett of Tubbs. I mean, you guys, I'm surprised that you guys even have socks on your uniforms. And what's up, and what's up with Don Shula, Bella Cheat, coming out here, Freddie Mercury, that whole team, man. Get over it, dude. You had one undefeated season against a bull junk league. Didn't mean nothing, all right? Yeah, it's an accomplishment, but to be popping champagne bottles every year when the team loses, to be getting together and like, oh, we're the best ever. Nobody could ever match our thing. Get out of here. Get out of here, you stupid fish.